Hi, in this slide we're going to look at what a difference uh, heroic acts can make from really prosaic frontline people. There was an interesting book written back in about 1990 called Real Heroes in Business, Not a CEO in the Bunch by Schlesinger and Fromm. And what they did is they went to different service organizations and said, who is a frontline person who can make you or break you and have a big economic value over time? And in the grocery store business, they said, well, you know, it, it's the produce department is how we differentiate ourselves. Everybody has cereal and spam in the middle of the, of the store, but it's the things around the perimeter that are more customized and, and uh, more peculiar and you just need more service uh, uh, intent. And they said, well, okay, who's the best uh, produce jock you've got? And they did a little research, and they found out it was one fellow named Wally Bajorquez. And when the researchers went out to, you know, Vons in San Diego to talk to Wally and find out what he was doing, they, uh, they said, Wally, you know, what do you do here? And he had about five tricks, you know, he, he as far as how he rotated the produce and put little spray on it to make it shine and, you know, cut a cantaloupe in half to make it look inviting. And, and then he was one of these uh, uh, name memory guys because he really worked hard on memorizing everybody's name. So once he introduced himself, he would never forget their name. So if I went a, a second time, he'd say, hey, Mr. Merrifield, and he would know my name. And I'd look at his little tag and say, oh, hi, Wally, how are you? Like, who's this guy? Um, and uh, so then they asked him, they said, well, Wally, do you ever get any feedback from customers about how they are loyal to Vons because they like your produce? He goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe once a week somebody will come and say, you know, Wally, I used to buy at the guy Caddy Corner from here, but I, when I came over and saw what a great job you're doing the produce, I switched. And he said, you know, and also about once a week I get somebody who says, you know, Wally, I would have switched to the other guy, except you're so good because I got honked off by the guy who was in the fish department or whatever. So at any rate, doing a little bit of research with customers and so forth, they calculated that Wally on the margin was winning and retaining one customer a week and keeping another one from defecting. So if you took those two wins a week and figured out what the incremental customer bought per week, how much that customer would make in PBIT per year, and, and how how old Wally was and how long he was going to be there in a career because he was a career union guy, this was Wally's lifetime value. Now, unfortunately, what happened at Vaughn's is about every six to 12 months, based on turnover and expansion of the chain in those days, um, they would allow all the union people based on seniority to rebid uh, what jobs they wanted. And nobody wanted produce because it's a lot of heavy lifting. You got to keep rotating the, the produce. It's a lot of work. Um, and, uh, and everybody wanted to work at a store closest to their home and during the normal day shift as opposed to the swing shifts and so forth. So Wally got moved, he's a young guy, he got moved you know, every six to 12 months to some new place where he had to start all over again, as opposed to, hey, leave him there, build up that equity with the customers and take his tricks and train everybody else and even hire people in the image of Wally who would memorize people's name and do his tricks gladly because they enjoy doing that. And, and look what a difference it would make. So in the same spirit, you need to look at all your frontline people, tell them the story, um, say, here are the most important accounts. What kinds of stories can we come up with historically where somebody was in a jam and what did somebody do to you know, save the day, uh, win extra brownie points for the customer, do something creative beyond the, 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 the call of duty, uh, bend some rules, whatever. And the stories will surface. You can create little videos like this and have them on your own internal internet. But it turns out that there aren't that many uh, categories of, of heroic acts you can do. And once people have the stories in their mind, it gives them the courage to, to, to reach out and do those things. And bottom up, you'll start to hear these stories. And bottom up, you'll start to get these kinds of wins, this sort of retention economics that you see here with the Wally story. Thank you.